So, so why do those changes happen? Okay, there are two theories. One is, well, the brain shrinks, honestly. Okay, and I'll show you the picture of that in a second. But we now think that there is more to that. It's not just necessarily the volume of the brain, it's how well it functions. Specifically, how many synapses do we have in the brain working? Synapse is a, where um, one neuron, one brain cell meets another, and they talk to each other, they have to talk to each other. And without those connections, who cares about the volume of the brain? If the connections are not working well, you know, there's nothing to do about it. So, and that's something that's uh, changing too. As we age, the amount of those connections between the brain cells go down. But we're gonna talk about things that can sort of reactivate those connections, how things that can kind of make the brain to find new, um, new ways to do things. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. And another fun fact, as I call it, that actually, just with normal aging, by the, if we all reach age of 130 years old, we will have actually so few connections in between the brain cells that it would be equivalent to somebody with Alzheimer's disease. So we're all sort of pre-wired that, you know, to a certain degree that at some point there isn't, you know, that much we can do. This is the maximum the brain can deal with approximately 130 years old. I find this quite interesting. Um, and I kind of included, this is the example of the synapse. This is how they talk to each other, the uh, kind of nerve endings, and they send different signals through the electrical discharges and chemical discharges, and with chemical stuff we use to create the medications. What? I'm sorry, okay. All right, so this is, I promise you to show you a picture of the normal brain, which is on your left, I guess. <laughs> and this is the brain that shrunk. And you can see that it's kind of like quite smaller than the other one, right? Can you guys see that? And this is what we usually see in people's brains which are affected by Alzheimer's disease, okay? So yes, there is a volume loss, but also we know there is much less of those synapses that we need.